completely understand. I'll finish Lee. Head, how do we speak to the serpent? There's a horn on a platform at the middle point of the bridge. Take me to it. Finally! That horn! I put my lips to the horn. That statue made in honor of Thor. And seeing as the world serpent absolutely abhors the fat dauber, he was probably sick of looking at it. But doesn't that hurt? Well, he and Thor have a bit of an unpleasant history between them. Or they will, anyway. So I guess waking up to see it was worse than the thought of lumps of solid stone passing through his gullet. You want me to ask him? No. Our only concern is Jotunheim. All right, wish me luck. Uh, ooh, ha, ha, ha. You I've still got it, lads. You remembers me. Why are you? saw to it that no ordinary chisel would do the job. Only the tip of a magical chisel opens that gate. Luckily, I know where it is. And it's not far. He looks kind of mad for a moment. Now that, I thought I said you were friends of Odin. You'll forgive me. I've never spoken the ancient tongue sober. Wait, look! The water's dropped even further. You can see more of the realm towers and statues. I haven't seen new places to explore along the shore. Where is this chisel? Find me a boat, and we'll go from there.
Tears braziers, a symbol of the light that binds all realms together. Why would he use those strange runes, though? Now you mention it, he wouldn't. Ah. So when we get to the boat, we can either look for that special chisel now, or go exploring for a little while. I'm happy with whatever you want to do. Nightmares! Ugh! What awful pests! Why am I you? Nice shot! Which way to the chisel? Keep rowing towards the statues of the oarsmen, then thread past between them. Amir, you never did tell me why Freya spit in your face. Well, she blames me in large measure for her present circumstances, and not totally without reason. It all goes back to the long war between the Aesir and Vanir. Prior to that, wars for the Aesir were easily won, but the Vanir had proved their equal and exacted devastating damage. Both sides suffered tremendous losses, and for many... Of us, quite frankly, war was simply no fun anymore, but a rather senseless waste of precious life. Wouldn't you agree, brother? Mm. Precisely. Enough was enough, and at last Odin's most brilliant advisor became determined to find a more enlightened path. He set about to broker a peace between the gods. It took some convincing, but ultimately Odin was persuaded to marry his deadliest enemy. A certain Vanir goddess, legendary not only for her fertile beauty, but her genius at the very Vanir magic that Odin had long aspired to master. Freya married Odin? What was in it for her? It was a sacrifice to protect her people, a selfless act of love. Truly, she deserves better than she got, but of course there's more to that story. over here. You who walks among the living, my beloved Gulvig calls to me. She yearns for peace, yet her remains lie in pieces. I beg of you, make my Gulvig whole again. You want us to collect her bones? Gross. Gulvig's sailor magic knows no bounds. She can reunite you with those you've lost. Really? How? Boy. I can smell your grief, child. Rest assured, her magic is strong enough to create bridges between life and death. 
If only for a short while. Boy, we are leaving. They've taken three of Sweet Gulvig's bones and spread them across the lake. Bring me her bones, child. Gulvig will reward you. this game. I will not be distracted by this fool's errand. This chisel we seek, what is it? I'm glad you asked, actually. I have just the story for you. <clears throat> There was a giant once named Thamalon. A very giant giant. Who, despite his mountainous size, was without question the greatest stonemason this world had ever seen. Proud Thamur hoped to one day pass his vast knowledge onto his son. But young Hrimthur had the heart of a warrior. Perhaps the father had too much fear in him, or the son too little. Either way, a quarrel of theirs spiraled out of control, and the overworked stonemason, bonk, struck his son. Rimthur ran off into the night. Feeling shame and regret, Thamur chased after his son, but in his emotional state soon found... ...himself wandering Midgard, lost and alone. Sadly. He caught the eye of the one person who didn't want to meet alone that night, so far from home. Thor. And? What happened next? You'll see. Thor killed him. Oh no. He fell in the village? Aye. When Thamur fell, he crushed a charming place famed for worshipping the Vanir god Njord. Thor always took credit for planning that one. The truth is, the sweaty ball bag just got lucky. A wolver! A dangerous beast. We will take him down together. On your mark. Tip of one, yes. A very, very giant chisel. 
Didn't seem to do anything. Brother, looks like that crystal's brimming again. Oh, neat trick, lad. Thanks. His idea. Survivors. Oh, Thamur was a frost giant. When he died, his final breath froze everything. I see something up there. There he is. Find the tip of that chisel. That's the magic we need. Hostiles. On your mark. How are we getting down there? I have a plan. You do? Do not act so surprised. 
Oh, no offence, brother, but I don't even think Thor with Mjolnir in hand could get through that much ice. Then Thor is a fool. This should be entertaining. Boy. Right. Wow, that was uh, something, that uh, fight. Here, catch. Well, that was a waste of a perfectly good hour. How were you not seen? There is nowhere here to hide. Oh, that. It's a little trick my people can pull. A special way of not being seen. You can be invisible? More like I can step into the realm between realms. And your mind doesn't understand what it's seeing, so it sees nothing at all. That's how we avoid ever having to actually use the weapons we craft. It, uh, it doesn't seem to work on dragons, though. <laughs> your brother wanted to know if you're getting enough to eat. I guess I could tell him you are. Brock was asking about me? Was there meat on his breath? <laughs> You let him touch this again. Come on, then. So that's how Brock was in the temple right after the water drop. He stepped between realms. Okay, now, shush. I need complete silence for this. There you go. What speaks to you?
Who knew? Oh, we can't forget you. Say so myself. 